you know, there's a lot of pressure on him to perform at that level, but he's, he's got big shoulders, he can handle it. And the, the key thing with good football teams is that your good players have to be consistently good. And then those other guys, they can be occasional, but your key guys, they need to be consistent. And we need him to be a consistent player, and he knows what our expectations are, and I'm sure he'll meet them. He loves to play the game. When you look at Cordy's eyes, when you talk about football, eyes, I mean, you're looking right through the middle, right through the windows of his soul. The guy loves to play. And I, I love playing games when he's next to me. I love playing games while he's out there. That, it makes me feel good and it makes me feel safe to know that he's out there. Now, he's not going to be out there for a while. We need other guys to step up. I feel bad for him based off his personal, you know, situations that's happened the last two years. I feel really bad for him. I mean, Virginia Tech wasn't a winnable game last year. Things happen for a reason. West, Western Michigan almost went out and beat USC, you know, and we had X players playing a fantastic game in that game, helped them almost win that game. So I don't look at things like that. Every game is a different game, and I don't try to predict the future. I think it's hard to do, and we'll just play them one at a time and see what happens.